So away they go then. They will run straight out of the square on that orange carpet into Andrasi Avenue, which is about three and a half kilometers long, that road in front of them. Well, from us looking here on the screens, to me it looks like Gebre Selassie is racing. He looks like he's on the track, that he's comfortable, and he looks like he's just waiting to pounce. Kiplangat here, now beginning to forge a gap. And at last, this powerful, barrel-chested little Ugandan forges a gap on the opposition, on the chaser from Ethiopia. This man will have them punching the air and roaring him home in Uganda. Victor Kiplanga, Commonwealth Golds last year, World Gold this year. This has been a quite spectacular winning final lap from him, and he crosses the line in 2.08. 52 to take world gold. He is crowned world champion. Another glorious day in the distance races for Uganda. And look at this. Teferi has caught Gebrus Lassie. The Ethiopian is wilting. Teferi's form and determination on these final few kilometers rewarded with a silver for Israel. Wow, what a spectacular surge from him. He had a target and he hit that target with a bullseye. And Gebre Salasi was the victim of that. But he still gets a brilliant bronze for Ethiopia. 208.53, the official winning time there for Victor Kiplanga. Well, let's have a look at the top three once again. It was a glorious day for Victor Kiplanga of Uganda, just 23 years old. Look at that. The features showed very little emotion or effort for most of the race, but boy, that is a winning smile as he takes gold in Hero Square and becomes world champion. Teferi of Israel finished like an absolute rocket over the last three or four kilometers, closed down to take silver medal, passing this man, Lul Gebris Lassi, whose features were uh, more strained than many behind him, but he worked very hard for that fabulous bronze.